Hi everyone, Dan here and welcome back to another video by Wondershare Repair It, professional software designed to fix corrupted photos, videos and files. Now, most people have zipped a file before, but you might have also experienced issues when trying to open those zipped files. This happens when the zip file format becomes corrupted, and today I'll show you how to fix the problem. Before getting started, let me know if you've experienced any other problems when it comes to zipping files in the comments section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Wondershare Repair It for more videos just like this. Now, when files are compressed into zip format, the file size is reduced, making them easier to move around and store. However, this can result in an error message that says the compressed folder is invalid. So if this happens, how do we fix it? The first thing that comes to mind with compressed files is the compression client that might be causing the problem. Reinstalling the program can help to fix the problem, and here's how to do that and hopefully fix your zip file format errors. Open a run box by hitting the Windows key and R. To open programs and features, type appwiz.cpl and hit enter. Go through the list and uninstall the file zipping program you're using, such as WinZip, WinRAR or 7-Zip. After it's been uninstalled, go to your browser and download the most recent version of the zipping program. Once you've installed the new version, reboot your computer and see if you can extract the file. By the way, if you're using a laptop or notebook, check out ReImage Plus, which scans the repository and repairs corrupt or missing files. The NTFS file system can be used to compress files effectively, and it's probably the simplest method because it eliminates the need to compress, zip or unzip files every time they're needed. It's a completely automated operation that has no effect on file or software performance. Here's how to compress files and folders using NTFS on Windows 10. Launch File Explorer and navigate to the folder where you wish to save your data. Create a new folder by selecting New Folder or by pressing Ctrl, Shift and N on your keyboard. Give the folder a name and hit enter. Right click on the folder, choose properties and select the general tab. Choose advanced and check the compress contents to save disk space option under the compress or encrypt attributes section. Then click OK. Finally, click the apply button to save your changes. Select apply changes to this folder, subfolders and files in the confirm attribute changes box that appears and press OK. We've now built a folder that will automatically compress all the files saved in it and take up less space than usual. This happens for all existing and future files, and you could even do this for a single file if you wanted. To make sure it's working, look for a two arrow indication in the top right corner. You can see how much space we're saving by right clicking on the folder and selecting properties. Look at the file size, which shows the size before compression and the size on disk, which is the size after compression. If you want to stop using the file compression, repeat these steps and uncheck the compress contents to save disk space option. If you've still got a zip file or folder with a compressed zip folder error, the next method might help you out. Another method you can try to restore corrupted zip files is by using command prompt. Firstly, make sure you're logged in as an administrator. On Windows 10 or 8.1, select Command Prompt from the Start menu by right-clicking on the Start button, or by searching for Command Prompt. Or if you're using Windows 7, 8, Vista or XP, click on the Start button, select All Programs, choose Accessories and find Command Prompt. Copy the location of your broken zip file and navigate there in Command Prompt to hopefully load the file. You can also change the zip file name so that you can see which zip files are broken or incorrect. Now, if the corrupted file within your zipped file is a document, we'll need to use a file repairing tool to fix it. With Wondershare Repair its latest update, we can now repair corrupted PDFs, documents, Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints. Here's how it works. Firstly, add the damaged file or files to Wondershare Repair it. Next, click Repair to repair the corrupted files. 
And finally, you'll get a preview of the repaired files and you can save them to the desired location. Now that you've learned some interesting methods for repairing zip files, which one are you planning to use? As you can see, there's a few reasons why zip files might become corrupted, but hopefully one of those methods helps you to solve the problem. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any other solutions in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare Repair It YouTube channel. I'm Dan and I'll see you next time.